Band leaders, uh, for me, are, are very important people in terms of bringing order to what we have at hand, you know, because there's also a, a, a topic to talk about most. When we go on stage, there's a topic, why we're doing this show, why we're doing that. So band leader plays a big role in terms of knowing the whole story with the band and, and the direction per se, but also the band members are also have a role to play. So it, for me, I always say band leaders was free for people to speak and express, but controls the direction to what we're about as, as the unity. So that person is, 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 it plays a role in terms of communication, what time, are we rehearsing? Where are we rehearsing? All of that, it's this guy. And the environment itself of where we're going, you know, because when we're gonna rehearse, you need, it's only, not only in my world anyway, I believe also in the jazz world, we don't just jump to, to, to music, we talk. You can't be a band leader if you're gonna be not want to have conversation with your band members, because you have to understand they are coming from different angles to play this music and you need to meet them, everybody, to play the music. So once you, you let them come as they are and who they are and anyway as a band leader you know why you have a certain band member in your band. So it's easy and I, I think it's, it's the most refreshing thing when it's done right and everybody is groovy and you can see it, you can feel it even on stage when the unity is there. It's possible to do two roles as, as a band leader and a musical director, but there's other band leaders who've got musical directors because it's a conversation also. There's a guy, maybe your drama knows more of what this concept we're about is, or this music and the approach, because I, I'm a believer of Music is a unifier of people. And for us to play, we, we need to be united back on, on, on relationships and conversation. You know, you know who can be on your left, you know who can be on your right. You know who to call if you want to execute certain things. So you've got this eye, you've got this ear to see and also to welcome that person because also that person that you are calling they are band leaders in their own rights and they've got their own visions. So you put these people together who've got their own visions, but now the vision is one, we go for it. And then when that is done and it's beautiful, you can hear it in the music. Then people go back to their journeys because all of us, we have journeys. And that's why music is so beautiful. Apprenticeship also plays a big part in, in, in music also because you find that some students where how the story they met the band leader that they are playing with now. Example, I went to, to, to Devon at one point in, in, in my life to, for auditions because there was an opportunity for schooling outside the country. So I went there, but we're, we're different students from different institutions. I'm, I'm from FUBA, you know? <laughs> so that's when I met uh, Bramakoy, Vusikumalo. So they were part of the teachers who were teaching the, like the workshops, so they see the skill, whether, you know, what do you need to enhance, how do you work with other kids and all of that, you know? But I ended up not going for, to study because they selected other guys, you know? So I was left behind. But the funny thing was, Brahmakoy said, no, 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 no. Listen, you're gonna work with me because I like what you are doing in the workshops. Even one of the songs that I've done, he, he took it and put it in his album. I was just a student then. But the transitions from a student, I played as a student, I played with him, we recorded, I arranged to be a producer. That means there's a good leader because he could see how many things maybe this young kid can do. And, and history is there. You can go and say, oh, he started there. You know what I mean? So that is good band leader. He saw something, so you are able. But also now, the business of music. Because talking about things of publishing, I didn't know. He, he set me down, hey, publishing, stuff like this, stuff like this, and stuff like that. So you learn 
band leader. Now he sees, oh, this one is an arranger, band leader. And all these people are around this band. So you use people from the bands that you have, band leaders. You check most band leaders, you'll find that they've got a producer, they've got a composer in their bands. They've got other great musicians. Like if you, if you look at the, the likes of uh, Terence Blanchard, you look at the guys that he played with and the stories like, I remember I watched this story of uh, Kendrick, I think Kendrick Scott, the drama. He was on his graduation at school, music school, when he got a call to go and play with Terence Blanchard. And then now is one of the greatest dramas we have. You know what I mean? But it doesn't mean that the band leader f found you, you know, not doing your stuff because sometimes they, they see what you've started and they push you. And I'm a believer of band leaders who, who, has, who give people freedom, you know, to be who they are and who themselves so that we better, you know, there's more ground to, to communicate about these things. There's Concord Ngabinde, a great band leader. You know, I've, I've, some, I've, I've, I've worked with him, but I've seen him doing it before even I worked with him. I was like, that's hip about him. And even on and ladies, I had an opportunity to play with Judith most of the time. I think she's a band leader because Judith, with her band, is a relationship right there already. So they are on journey. You can, you can tell that the band leader is not, she's not there in the room, maybe, you know what I mean? Because another thing, when we are on the road, like just bands, you know, leader is the one sometimes who knows the directions and, 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 and the places like, guys, okay, this time we're doing this and that and that. So everybody is happy. Trust me, if you go on tour with a good band leader, listen, it's the best tour. But it's scared sometimes you've got other band leaders, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you're like, oh God, okay, let's finish the music. Let's play, you know what I mean? Because at one point also when we do, because it's work, sometimes you're like, oh, maybe, eh, maybe I'm not supposed to be here, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. We play music and then sometimes it's like, oh, pfft. it's like we did, we did nothing as, 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 as musicians, you know what I mean? Same vice versa, even us as musicians, you know, sometimes it can be vibes. You're like, oh, it's not, it doesn't feel nice. But Ben Leader sees those things and make sure that we talk about them so that we, we are in a zone. Yeah, a collaboration, it, it just means that you can't exist alone. You know, you can't make music alone. Because music is not for you, music is for people, all of us. You know what I mean? You can play your music alone, you'll be bored. That's why people need to talk. Why are we talking? It's because we need to be heard. It's the same thing as music. It's a voice that you, you need to be heard. And for you to be heard, you need to talk to people. So it, collaboration for me is something special because you, hear, you are hearing somebody's story. Because there's no way that you're gonna do a collaboration with someone that you've never heard. You, why? You don't know what they are about, you don't know. There's collaborations where people had clashed. You can see all over the world, they talk about, oh man, that thing, you know what I mean? Because I think maybe there was no conversation or people didn't even know each other. And you are fortunately and unfortunately, some people are signed to record labels, you know what I mean? So the whole thing is controlled sometimes by someone who think, okay, because we want to push this agenda, you need to collaborate with so and so and so, but you realize that we don't click. So the artistic side of collaboration for me is always the best because it means I hear somebody's voice in my head or somebody hears my voice in his head. It's like, but we can do something. And it goes to relationships. And also in, in, in terms of the society and how we see as people, how we live. You know, like a Kasi, as, as a Kasi, we grew up a Kasi song, a Lokshin. That's collaboration. And stuff. Music is like that. At its best. It's just that sometimes there's a lot of things that goes into, you know, people they have got their own things and stuff like that. But when we forget about the things and focus on music, best collaboration, we've had best collaborations in, in the world that are inspiring us even today because of a good vibe. Just police.
chess purist, chess everything. Oh man, it's it, it. Sometimes I think it's it's for me. For me, it makes me sad when people can't work together. Be it music, be it changing the society, be it churches, be it everything, because I think everyone, when we are united, you can see the smile of the people, the kids. Everybody is happy. It's an individual thing. Sometimes uh, all these things, because you decide not to do anything with anyone. You know what I mean? I'm off of uh, the idea that we need to cross. Like, as people already, we are here in Johannesburg. I'm a guy from Port Elizabeth, you know? So just imagine, I work with a guy, maybe it's an in, and then that can give us a lot of possibilities. And uh, again, it's going to be a communication thing. Because, oh, Mina, this is how I approach this. This is how I pronounce this in my language, and it means this. Then we open uh, the pool of uh, uh, streams for everyone to, to eat from what we're doing. Because if everything is going to be coming from the same energy and same, you know, and sound and stuff like that, we end up not having, you know, uh, for, because all of us, there's a space in music, all of us in the world, we have the space in music. Unfortunately, South Africa is one of the blessed countries. Example, I'm here at KFM. Yeah, hey, this is KFM TV, yeah. You guys have been following what we do. Some of us, when I was studying, KFM was, was a, a, in Newtown, example. But I used to go there to listen to music. I haven't recorded nothing with no one, but it's the radio station I listen to. Later, I'm a musician. You guys follow the stuff that we do, and you are interested even on the guys behind. What are you? What are you doing? I see you've been doing that. I see that that's collaboration already. You will see even the shows that you, we do here is based on collaboration. So it means that if we are looking this direction, you can say, okay, KFM have done this, have done this, has done this, has done this. Now what we need to do as artists also is to know that we are business and whatever, you know what I mean? This, what we do also is, is something of value to another entity or brand. So let's be aware of those politics so that when you go, when I come here and say, I, I need to do this and that and that, you guys know, but okay, this is what we're about, Afropolitan, okay, cool. It means, it, it goes with, that means I need to be aware of your, 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 your policies and you know how you do things. And I introduce myself, I've got my own things, but you know, we, we compromise, we do that, we do that until we come to one. Because we are going for the same goal, to change, you know? So it's the same as with venues. With venues, like you've got venues where they've got their own way of doing things, but they're willing to sit down with you and say, okay, this is how we do things, but we want to do this with you. These are the measures. And then you bring your measures, we see how this works. The same as venues. And it's beautiful lately, these days, because as I was saying, we are business also. You, that means it's an exchange thing or a venture to a certain, to a, maybe to a one cause, you know. So all these people are here. It's the same as with musicians. If I'm going to have a show and the other musician wants to do the same show with me, you know what I mean? We are pulling different streams of people. And then government gets involved, and then we take it to the schools, and the kids, you know, it's documented. Now people can see who's Luanda Matu because it's documented. Back in the day, we didn't do that. So the role of media is playing a big role, you know, but other people need to come to the party because there's people who don't come to the party. It's possible, you know, because it, th there's things that are happening that government is doing with artists. You know what I mean? But I just, I'm one of those who always pray that sometimes government needs to have artists, you know, sometimes as ministers at one point. Especially, especially if maybe the minister has done, maybe she was a dance or he did ballet, somebody, somebody who has done something in the arts. Because... I th it's, 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 sometimes it's too much, 
you know, because when we talk, you know, as artists, there's things that we talk about. Sometimes people who are not artists don't understand what's going on, but we know what's going on. Just a certain way of how we can put these things together. It doesn't mean that uh, as artists we are not supposed to learn and understand how the government work and stuff like that. I'm not saying that. But there in the top, we need someone. At least that person can look over us. You, you know what I'm saying? Because we're going to say it like this. It's been happening. Sometimes you realize that certain genres, just like in music, they feel like they are left out in programs. There's, you know what I mean? So if somebody is open-minded, you can see, okay, we need to balance there. We need to balance there because music itself has got different subtitles and genres and stuff. It's the same as dancing. It's the same as fine art. It's the same as, this, you know what I mean? So we need somebody who's well vested on certain parts of arts because once we have that one, it's, it's, it's going to link. And then it's there, man, and then it's nice because this country is one talented country that we, we need to, 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 to check. Anyway, we don't have to check. We see it every now and again. People come to South Africa and do things in South Africa and go. And sometimes we get excited because these people are not from here, but they work with our people. And then we're like, oh, wow, wow so-and-so was here, and wow, so-and-so and so was here. That means there's something here. Somebody needs to look after our things. You know what I mean? So that it doesn't always go out of the country. And then, like for instance, royalties, sometimes in this country, they leave the country because there's other people who don't play South African music a lot. Then here, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> you know, keep it in the house, keep it in the zone. <laughs> All I want to say, um, we, we, we have a, a, a booming industry. And it's very inspiring because people are taking charge of their works in, own, in ownership and, and blah, blah, blah. We still, you know, not saying people mustn't be signed, but uh, owning your thing after you, you, you know, because you know, you know what you went through to get this thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, they've got their thing that they know what they went through. So let's uh, empower each other. Let's. Let's collaborate. Let's work together. Let's work together. It, you know, if, if we don't want to work with Leander, it's fine. But it shouldn't be a thing that is like, oh, but no, you know what I mean? Because even if you're not working with me, you're working with me for the country, or you know what I mean? This, we are going to the same, you know what I mean? So unity. And it, it will take us by talking about stuff, you know, not lashing, not attacking. But sometimes it happens that you feel like you want to blast, you know, something, you know, it happens. But if we talk about these things honestly, and we know the truth, man. Hello, you know. You know when you know, you know. Just so say the things you know that is going to make us better. That's it.